Okay, now we have our textured 3D bungalow. Uh, looks nice um, when you look at it from forward, left, reverse, right, up, and down. But when you start moving around, you're going to start noticing stuff. Let me show you. Looks like a good fireplace, but when you turn to the side, it's all flat. It's an illusion. And uh, if you want people, if you pick, put this in a game engine and have people walk around, the, it's not going to be nice. Uh, people want to see 3D objects. So this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to look to the right. I'm just going to worry about the fireplace. I'm not going to do everything. I'm just going to show you the basics real fast. So this is what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to set up my four views. I want an overhead view and set it to um, some shading so I actually can see what's going on. Uh, so I've got overhead and then a front view. Unfortunately, uh, the ceiling texture and the left texture is blocking. So I'm going in and hiding all the polygons except the ceiling and the right hand. And then when I get into this, I'm going to make my cuts. So I have set it to plane. Set it to the plane I want. Make sure that you turn off um, only edges because it will mess it up. So I'm going to the right and the left of the fireplace itself, making my cuts like that to the far right and the far left of just the fireplace on the outer part of the fireplace. And then I'm going to make a top cut. And the top cut I have a measurement for is 1.295 meters, 129.5 centimeters from the bottom of the floor. So I just bring it down, make my cut. And then from there, I can actually select that particular polygon, the fireplace itself, and I'm going to extrude it. Now, what I'm looking for is I'm setting up the camera so I can see that uh, the fireplace comes out on the texture of the floor. So I watch the extrusion to make sure it covers everything. And that looks like it's pretty good right there. So now I have a basic box, but I have a mantelpiece to worry about, but the box is too wide. So what I have to do now is select the two ends. Now I know there's probably easier ways to do this, but this is what I'm doing right now. Um, and I'm just going to take these two and bevel them in. Because when it comes out in a 3D space, it looks wider on the front than it does on the back. So I need to make sure that uh, it is to the measurements of what it is against the wall. So I'm removing the polygons that I do not need. And um, then I am going to take my bridge tool in edge mode and create new polygons there and there. So now I have a good basic box. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the normals are facing where I want. And as a matter of fact, uh, I should have taken the whole model and flipped the normals so that the gold is pointing in instead of out. Uh, so right now I'm gathering everything. There's a little bit of extra polygons that I'm getting rid of on the floor when I did the bevel. And uh, now I'm reversing the normals. That got it where I want it. Now I'm going to make the mantelpiece. I'm going to take the top and extrude it. I know it's nine centimeters. So I just nine centimeters and enter. And then I am looking at the back wall and you can see uh, how far that extruded out. I'm comparing it to the texture on the back wall where the uh, mantelpiece is. And then I need to make it a little bit wider to do the rest of the coverage. So I uh, highlight both ends and then I'm going to bevel those out as I'm looking at an original camera. And there, that should be pretty good. So now I need to make sure that the textures cover everything. All I do is I make sure I hit the selection for the right wall. And then uh, holding shift, I select all my new geometry. And then I go up to select. And let me catch up here. Make sure I got all the geometry that I've just created. Because as you notice, it's not textured right now like the rear wall is. So now that I've gotten all of that, I go and I add that to the selection. Set the selection again, and now you notice that it's all textured. 
and they want to turn everything else on, you know, I have a 3D object with a decent texture on it. it still needs work, but it's right now it's a good start. Now you can see right here where because of how the camera did not see from this angle, so it projected uh, some stuff that's doubling there. And the same if you look at the heater, notice there. Uh, there's the heater there, and on the right is the, the wall it is against, and since it is being projected uh, in a strange way. So what you will have to do is basically probably go into, uh, you could either bake it and put it into Photoshop and then start working on the texture there, straighten it out, cutting and pasting and stuff like that and getting you where you want it, or maybe even body paint. But to tell you the truth, that is the subject for another tutorial. But right now, this is the end of this tutorial. This has been camera mapping, camera projection, uh, in virtual reality in Cinema 4D. And this is Perry, and I am no one you know for StoryToPixel.com.